If you are sick and tired of being sick and tired because you don't know what to do when it comes to your sickness, please watch this video. You don't want to miss out on this. Maybe you've been to every doctor underneath the sun and they're like, you know what? We don't know what's going on. We don't know how to treat this. We don't know how to help this. Or maybe they are treating you and just nothing's happening at this point. I want to let you know that I believe I have something that's going to help you out on your journey right now. It's something that I've learned. When I'm making this video, I'm speaking from experience. I'm not speaking from something that somebody told me or some kind of guy that just researched something and put something out there and said, hey, listen, this sounds good, you know, but I've really never experienced sickness myself. Those are the kind of people that I just refuse to listen to. I like to you know, listen to somebody that's actually speaking from experience. Um, at one point in time, I had over 40 different symptoms inside my body. My body was falling apart, I was bedridden, and I was pretty much on death's door. You wanna to listen to a guy that's actually been there and done that, I am your guy, so please stay till the very end of this video. But before we get started, I'm not a doctor, I'm not claiming to be, there's just information I've learned on my journey that I believe works for me, and I believe it will work for you too, but you have to make that assessment and judgment. And then always, always, always remember to check with your trusted sources first before you make any kind of adjustments. You're sick, you're feeling like crap, you're feeling like poop, you just wanna get better, you've tried every supplement, You've ate the right foods, you're doing organic, you're going to the chiropractor, you're practicing yoga, you're at the gym, you're doing rebounding, you're doing everything under the sun to get better. But why are you not getting better? What is going on in your life that is prohibiting you from having the life that you desire, which is a life free of pain, so you can go out there and live your best life now. In order for you to live the life that you desire, you have to figure out where it all started. And many of you guys have been going to doctor after doctor after doctor after emergency room visit. You've been doing everything under the sun, Googling things, trying to figure out where did this sickness start? I don't understand, or like, why is that happening to me? Going to the doctors to find out what you need to do, but then you find out that they don't even have the answers. So you start becoming your own self doctor and Googling away and trying to figure out what do I need to do to get better. A couple days ago, I was in bed and I was reading my Bible and there was something that just really stood out to me. And it's a verse that I've heard a thousand times before, but it says what defiles a man, which means spoils. Okay. What spoils a man is not what goes into a man, but what comes out of a man, meaning the things that come out of us spoil us. They spoil our lives. What does it mean when it says what comes out of a man defiles a man? Meaning the hurts, the pains, the frustration, the anger, the unforgiveness. It builds up inside and then before you know it, we just kind of lash out and we start speaking these words because we're so hurt on the inside. So throughout time, all these hurts that have been building up start to pierce our heart they mess up the vibrational balance inside our body. They mess with the harmony inside our body. Start to really just go in the wrong direction. And I really believe that this is how all sickness starts. We start to start slowly, slowly, slowly damning ourselves because we have a little hurt and we start speaking about it. Death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat of its fruit. You've heard it before. You have to guard what comes out of here. Before you can guard what comes out of here, you gotta learn to guard your heart, for out of it is the wellspring of life. Meaning that if you got all this hurt inside and you just start speaking these things, I don't feel good, I'm sick, I have this condition, I have that condition, my head hurts, my arm hurts. You're just speaking and damning yourself over and over and over. Happy heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Meaning that if you have a happy heart, that's gonna be like good medicine. But if your heart is always hurt and it's getting dinged over and over and over, this person hurts it. I read this, I saw this, this is, a, and then you just continue to keep on impressing these things on your heart. What happens is, is you continue to fill your heart with what doesn't need to be there. And you will become sicker and sicker and sicker until you learn to really, really guard your heart protect your heart and fill your heart with what needs to be there. Not hurt, not pain, not frustration, not doubt, not fear, fill in the blank. Right now, if you're wondering where your sickness started, try to think back of like when it actually started and what you were actually going through. And I will almost guarantee that it started with some event, some traumatic event 
or something that was going on in your life that was very, very, very hurtful and there it just started to build slowly but surely. You felt a little pain, you felt a little headache, and then before you know it, you start speaking these things to people, not understanding what you're doing, you start damning yourself. You're damning yourself with your thoughts, you're damning yourself with your words, you're damning yourself with what's going in your heart. So if you truly desire to turn it all around, I believe you have to make the adjustment and start fixing your heart first. Organic food will help, exercise will help, all these different things will help, but at the end of the day, if you truly desire for it to be completely fixed, leave you have to work from the inside out. What defiles a man is not what goes into a man, but what comes out of a man. So we have to be careful what we receive. And I'm not saying that if you eat a bunch of good food, that's not gonna help. A lot of bad food is not gonna add to what's already going on and making it worse on the inside. And then before you know it, you're gonna be speaking a lot worse things. Good food will help exercise will help and all these different things will supplement what needs to happen but if you truly desire for it to be fixed completely you have to fix the inside so the outside can be fixed so you can live the life that you desire remember if you think it's all about just food and supplements and exercise you're wrong that's just the bottom line and if doctors can't figure out what it is and you've tried everything under the sun i truly believe you got to check what is going on inside your heart Get your heart fixed so the only thing that can actually speak out of this mouth is words of life, not words of death of your sickness. And don't be one of those people that gets tricked into saying that I'm a cancer warrior, I'm an MS warrior, I'm a Lyme disease warrior. That only is making that impression on your heart and you're speaking it out there and you will hold on to that sickness and that condition for the rest of time. You don't need to say anything but you're more than a conqueror, you're an overcomer, you're healthy, you're blessed, you're coming out of this. It's different people that trigger these hurts and these pains and these different things on the inside. You need to stay away and stay clear. Always remember to guard your heart and watch what comes out of this because it's what will defile you and spoil the life God has in store for you. Hey, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, share it with a friend, comment in the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts on this video. And also, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing today and please hit that bell button so you can receive up-to-date notifications when these videos are posted. Thanks so much for viewing and we'll see you for another video here real soon.